morning everyone just gone half seven and I'm gonna pack the gear up so the washing is still drying on the bike so I'll end up strapping that to the bike later on and I've still got to pack the tent away and today I'm heading to France and it should be about 100 km a day I'm expecting the first uh, third of the day to be pretty tough work uh, a lot of rolling hills but then after that theoretically it should all be downhill to a city called Colmar and I believe that there is a municipal camping site there and that's it for now. I will give you some more clips from the road. Catch you guys in a bit. Cheers. Well, I'm trying to find my way out of Donnerschingen to Freiburg and I'm following the route that my Go, um, not my GoPro, my Garmin uh, Touring Pro has suggested. Thanks very much Garmin for leading me here. Now maybe at the end of there, there is somewhere to get out onto a sealed road again or even an unsealed road, that's fine. Uh, but this comes back to the point if you can't really trust this, uh, this Garmin. If there's anyone from Garmin out there responsible for the Touring Pro series, come and talk to me. Let's work together and we'll try and find a way to make this uh, a GPS that actually works for bicycle touring rather than kind of leaves you in limbo and a little bit concerned. Anyway, wind driver, I suppose I better head across this field. Speak to you in a bit. So Bye. after my little excursion through the field, I found that there was a load of grass and stuff caught in the derailleur. Now that is one of the reasons why I would suggest that a roll-off hub is better for bicycle touring if you can afford it. Let me pan round. Uh, so it's not a criticism of the bike because Stanforth also do a roll-off expedition bicycle as well. So my opinion is if you can afford it, it's probably better to get the roll-off hub. Now in some ways that does go against my principle of keeping things simple because obviously if the roll-off hub goes wrong and you're in the middle of nowhere, you're in real trouble because you're gonna to need to post it off get it fixed and get it posted back to you but I, I believe that circumstances are so rare that it's probably worth it you know and if you're on a, a multi-year bicycle tour you're gonna have time off the road at some point and you're gonna be inconvenienced by something at some point so um, I, I also uh, believe that if you're on a multi-year bicycle tour and you have a derailleur system you're gonna end up replacing the derailleur at some point anyway I certainly did when I cycled from Alaska to Argentina so uh, yeah, so just by going through that field and getting the grass caught up in the, in the derailleur, yeah, it made me realize again that a roll off is a very good choice. So like I said, Stanforth also do a roll off um, expedition bicycle version of the Kibo Plus as well. So maybe you want to check it out on their website, which I think is stanforthbikes.co.uk. Cheers for now. So time for the first break of the day. Uh, I've cycled a little bit longer than I normally do and I'm stopping in one of these what I call Pilgrim's Rest Places again. If you can see the cross there and the bench. I'm not sure if they've got a name in German but I think Pilgrim Rest Place is a good name. And a uh, normal break, banana, some water. Let's check out the stats that I've done so far. So I have cycled 450 metres upwards of total ascent so far. And at the minute, I'm at an elevation of 859 metres. And 23 kilometres done. That's taking me an hour and 43. 
So I think I've got about another hour or two hours of uphill and it should all be downhill after that. But So I'm at 953 metres elevation and that should be the highest peak of the day and in fact that should now be the highest peak for the rest of the trip. Uh, certainly today it's going to all go downhill in a bit uh, and I'm going to get down to 200 metres and I believe that the route is going to be pretty flat then um, until I get to Calais and, and cross the channel. So uh, I will try and get down to the nearest town as I'm quite hungry and could do with a drink. Not alcohol of course, probably just with water or maybe I'll treat myself to a Fanta and that's it. So, I will show you some clips of the downhill, assuming the GPS has brought me on the right track of course, because I could do another section in a bit saying how I've had to backtrack for 20 kilometres. Know what I mean? Catch you in a bit. Well, I think it's fair to say that at this point, if the GPS is wrong, it's very wrong. And I'm gonna have a nice climb up so far. There's a main road over there and I've been trying to keep off it because it's only a single lane and it's very busy. But there doesn't seem to be any clearly marked cycle lanes. My GPS is telling me to follow a trail, which is what I'm doing. It's all downhill, which is great if it ends somewhere, but if it means I've got to come back because it's wrong, I'm kind of screwed. So wish me luck, guys, <laughs> cheers. I think it's fair to say that today has not been the most uh, organised or efficient day. So I've gone extra hundreds of kilometres upwards in a sense. I've navigated rounded about sort of track, all to miss the main road, which I may or may not technically have been allowed on. So the question is, what would you have done? Would you have looked for an alternative route like I've done? Or would you have just said, okay, so now I'm on the main road? and I've only done 57 kilometers and that's taken me four hours 28 of cycling time probably not going to make my destination of Colmar um, but I at least need to get past Freeburg if I can so I'm hoping to get onto this uh, onto the road just to get a bit of downhill so it feels like I've got some distance and then I think I'll probably just dive into a guest house in a small village somewhere catch you guys in a bit Hi there, so I'm done for the day and that was a tough day's ride in the end. The tent's set up and just got to 
pack some of the stuff away from the bike and put it inside. So yeah, I didn't really uh, get as far as I wanted to. I've got to a place called Kirch Zarten, which is still 12 kilometers short of Freiburg, which was at the very minimum the place I wanted to head to. The actual place I wanted to head to was Colmar in France. And I think that's still another 30 kilometers away. So I'm potentially 30 or 40 kilometers behind my schedule for tomorrow. And so tomorrow's destination is Saverne, and I'm going to have to put in, I'm going to have to complete it because I've booked some accommodation already. So that's potentially what 120, 130 km a day, which is going to be quite tough. Still, there's no point in moaning about it, I'll just have to get on with it tomorrow. So now the tent's set up, I'll have a shower, have something to eat, get some rest, and get an early start tomorrow. So I will catch you guys later. Thanks very much for watching, and speak to you later. Cheers for now.